Now, the Ministry of Health is appealing to those living with pre-existing conditions such as diabetes and hypertension to continue attending their clinics and adhering to a healthy diet in the wake of surging COVID-19 cases. The ministry says such measures will help boost their immune system during the pandemic when they are more vulnerable and accounting for the highest number of fatalities. The instructions coming as the coronavirus tally rose to 6,941 after 268 eight more cases were confirmed with three more people succumbing to the disease. The coronavirus pandemic has taken a toll on patients suffering from non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and hypertension with majority of fatalities reported having had pre-existing conditions. Predominantly those who die, majority of our patients have more than two conditions and usually we have more than two existing conditions majority being with uh, diabetes and hypertension, that is the highest risk factor for COVID mortality, followed by diabetes alone, then hypertension, then other conditions including cancer. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Dr. Rashid Aman calling on those with the pre-existing condition to ensure they adhere to a healthy dietary regimen, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. A balanced diet is critical for preventing and managing non-communicable diseases and their related complications during this COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. Those who adhere to a healthy diet are able to maintain the acceptable blood sugar levels, manage their blood pressure levels, and maintain ideal body weights. Over the last 24 hours, 268 people tested positive for coronavirus out of 2,704 samples tested, bringing the total caseload in the country to 6,941, just a few cases shy of the 7,000 mark. The, the battle ahead is tough, but it's far from lost. There is still much to be done, and our country has the determination, the solidarity, and the tools to flatten the COVID-19 curve. Nairobi had 175 cases, out of which Dagoretti North recorded 34, with Kibra registering 29 cases. Ruaka had 24 cases, while Langata recorded 21 cases. Mombasa had 28 cases, Busia 18, Kiambu 11, Kajado 9, Migori 9, and Wasingishu 8 cases. Within that period, 20 patients were discharged, bringing the total number of recoveries to 2,109, while a further three patients succumbed to the virus. However, the Ministry of Health is still concerned about stigmatization against those who have recovered. A person who has been declared recovered from COVID-19 poses no further risk than any one of us here who is normal uh, in that sense. And uh, there is no need to stigmatize the disease or those who have suffered from the disease. Stigma will lead to further isolation and with isolation and uh, that will lead to either anxiety or depression. Even as more patients continue to be discharged from the hospital after making full recovery, the Ministry of Health is still concerned following the stigmatization that these patients are facing alongside their families, hence calling on Kenyans to embrace them even as they seek to reintegrate into society. Nancy Okware, Channel One News. Thank you, Nancy Okwara, for that report. Now, still on matters COVID-19, the government has intensified surveillance in the wake of rising COVID-19 cases with those entering the country subjected to mandatory testing. The strict measures coming as 15 students who were part of a group of Kenyans who jetted back into the country from Sudan last weekend tested positive for COVID-19. The students who were repatriated back to the country arrived at the Moi International Airport in Mombasa aboard a Kenya Airways flight on Saturday and were subjected to a mandatory health check at the airport and later sent for 14 days quarantine. 15 out of the 84 students have since tested positive for coronavirus and are undergoing treatment while the rest remain in quarantine until they are retested. <laughs> And uh, as a public health department, we had to make sure we isolate the positive ones from uh, those who are negative. So we have moved these cases to uh, the isolation center 
that is uh, at Tum, and that is where the 15 positives are. In the meantime, Kiambu Member of Parliament, Jude Njomo, has called on the Ministry of Health to ensure standard results for COVID-19 patients. Citing the case of his mother, who he says tested positive for COVID-19 at pathologist Lancet Kenya on June 10th, with a subsequent test returning negative results, the legislator said it was unfortunate that some families have been subjected to untold suffering through defective testing. The mother later died and was buried in accordance with COVID-19 guidelines. So I wanted the National Assembly Committee uh, to investigate so that we ensure that no other Kenyan will ever suffer because of misdiagnosis by a laboratory. Uh, we, we want to make sure that the results that are announced on a daily basis by the Ministry of Health are accurate results, are results that are factual and not anything anything uh, fabricated. Elsewhere, health experts in Malaba have raised concern over failure by expectant mothers and children living along the Kenya-Uganda border to get vaccinated for serious illnesses in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. The country has witnessed a reduction in the number of people accessing health facilities ever since the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed. Those who come from around or within the borders uh, just bring your babies for immunization. The expectant mothers kindly come for your ANC clinics. Beatrice Getonyengetich, Channel 1 News.